Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Torah School Online. The summer heat is gone and the early autumn rain is coming in. The temperatures are falling and the trees are slowly getting ready for the winter. And so also our work on trees adopted according to the season. This uh, will be regular autumn work on Scots pine. So cleaning the old needles, uh, then uh, some uh, cutting uh, off the branches and of course a little bit of rewiring. But this is also the video in uh, update series. So if you scroll through our archive, you will find uh, the video about this uh, pine published almost exactly two years ago. So let's start the process of cleaning the old needles. As you can see, many needles on the tree are already brown and they are really easy to remove with fingers. This is not uh, some kind of uh, problem uh, of the tree or health issue. Uh, this is just the natural process uh, in this part of the year. Well, it uh, turned out that uh, I was a little bit too optimistic uh, about uh, wiring. So um, at uh, many places the wire already cut into the bark. So uh, I will remove all of the old wire and completely rewire the tree. Okay, before I proceed with uh, wiring, let me clean the surface of the pot because I want to show you something. I will clean it uh, in detail in the end because I want to talk about this detail. This is of course uh, uh, fertilizer, uh, low nitrogen fertilizer which I applied uh, about uh, two weeks ago and now as you can see is uh, turned all totally white. Pine is a typical representative of symbiosis with ectomycorrhiza which now, of course, uh, helps the tree absorb nutrients. But that can uh, happen only if the fertilizer is totally firm on the top of the soil and uh, doesn't move. Only then uh, the interaction between the, uh, the fertilizer and mycorrhiza can start. So this is not uh, some kind of uh, dangerous mold, it is mycorrhiza which is good for the tree and it shows that the fertilizer is working and because it is working I will not remove it from the surface of the soil. And now it is time to rewire this tree because it is the kind of literati 
Uh, during the wiring, I will uh, further remove some greenery uh, of the crown. Beginners are often very surprised how much uh, work is it uh, with wiring and uh, many times they are so intimidated by it they, that they mm, don't come back uh, ever after first class. Uh, but if you want to style your tree really well there is no other options and yes about 90% of time dealing with bonsai is wiring, wire on, wire off, but uh, when uh, one master the technique then the wiring can be really fun. This was uh, the last wire uh, now just the fine tuning still left. Okay, this was uh, the autumn work on Scott's Pine. This was not the preparation for the exhibition. No, this was uh, just the ordinary autumn work on the tree to maintain the health and to do a step forward in development of this tree. This tree must be first reported into the oval bonsai pot then um, I'm thinking about uh, to do something with this upper part of the trunk here. But this is to-do list for the future. For now I'm just uh, moving on the other side of the shop. Why? Because I just want to leave you with this uh, beautiful uh, Japanese maple in autumn colors. This year we have a really uh, warm and humid autumn so I don't expect um, really a lot of colors in my garden uh, and that's why this tree will be admired even more. With uh, work on uh, Scott's Pine, Mycorrhiza and with this uh, beautiful Japanese uh, maple in autumn colors, we reach the end of the video. Autumn is here, see you all in the next one.